Hello, I'm JW. This time we're going to have a look at screws and screwdrivers. Now I've got a couple of screwdrivers here, both of which have uh, cross ends on them. However, these are not the same. One is a Phillips and the other one is a Posidriv. And if you thought that all cross-ended screws are the same, well, think again because they're not. And if you attempt to use a Phillips screwdriver with a posi screw or the other way around, one of two things is going to happen. Either the end of the screw is going to be mangled and destroyed, or the end of the screwdriver is going to break off and uh, be completely useless. So uh, very important to get the right one. Now for most common uses, certainly for construction type screws, the posi ones are the by far the most common. So that's generally what we're going to use. Phillips ones in the UK generally only use things like plasterboard screws and a few other specialist uses. But nevertheless, it's important to know the difference between them and of course, uh, which screwdriver to use with what. Now here's an example of the two most common types of screws. Now the black one is a Phillips head. And the thing to note about that one, it is just a cross shape. There's just the four corners there. And notice that the edges are slightly rounded where it sort of meets in the middle. So just four pieces. And the silver one is the posi driv, or PZ as it's usually abbreviated to. And uh, obviously it's also a cross shape, but notice that there's also an additional cross sort of in the middle of that. So you can see on the silver face there it's got those small extra lines on the uh, spaces between the large pieces. And if you look down inside, it's not just a single cross shape. You've got the large cross there, and if you look right down in the bottom, you can see it's got those additional pieces further down. So that effectively has eight pieces within it, so the four large ones and then the four smaller ones within, whereas the black Phillips ones there is literally just the four pieces that go in. Now this is a very important difference because if you use the wrong screwdriver in the wrong screw, it simply won't fit properly and you're going to damage the screw or the screwdriver or both. Now these are the screwdrivers. This is the Phillips one and you see it is just four pieces there which uh, tapers away just to a fairly blunt point. Now this is the posi. Two major changes here is you notice that the actual angle of the larger pieces is completely different. These are more flat there and then they just taper in more quickly whereas these have a more sort of sweeping shape on the Phillips there. And also in the middle of each you've also got that extra tapering in section there. So again it's like sort of four on the outside and then four others on the inside. And again it's designed that way to fit exactly into the screw head that we saw earlier. And this is what it looks like with the two together. So this is the posi, so a posi screwdriver and the posi screw there. So the two fit together absolutely perfectly and when you move the two relative to each other there's no slop or looseness between the two. It's solidly in there and it's not going to uh, slip out or uh, go anywhere else. So fits perfectly. This is the Phillips screwdriver and this is the posi screw. So these will not fit together properly. So if you put one in there it looks like it goes in but there's a bit of slop as you move that one. So it's not really fitting in there very well. Even if you press hard in there there's still movement between the screwdriver and the screw. And if you try and turn that, yes it will turn it, but as you can see that it's trying to pull out as you try and rotate it. So it's going to end up mashing the screw head to pieces and causing damage. Here's the Phillips screw and the Phillips driver. And if those two go together, that goes in there solidly and there's no way that's going to just pop out of there. Again, there's no movement between the screw and the screwdriver. So the two are of course matched and they fit together perfectly. However, if we get the posi driver and try and use that in the Phillips screw, well again this is not going to work because this has the extra pieces, so you see it only barely goes into the screw head there. Just have a tip going in, there's a huge amount of gap around the edge, and again it doesn't really fit there, it's trying to sort of cam out all the time, and again you're going to just chew that uh, screw head to ruination. It's not going to do much of a job. And the final point to remember is that there are different sizes of these and you need to make sure they're using the correct size. So the smallest one here, it is all Phillips these, so the smallest one there is a number one. That's used for some uh, smaller screws but not uh, that many. The one in the middle there is the number two, that's by far the most common size for things like plasterboard screws and other stuff like that. And then the number three over there, quite a lot larger, not uh, particularly commonly used. 
And the same applies to the posi ones. They also come in those same set of sizes, one, two, and three. Both of these do go lower than that. It's basically a zero, and then there's things like double zero and triple zero, but those are incredibly small, not going to be normally used in uh, construction type environments, although you may find them on certain bits of equipment that are fairly small. And if you use the wrong size again, the same problems apply. If it's too big, like this is the Phillips number two screw and this is the number three driver, well, you'll find that uh, it doesn't even fit in there because it's just simply uh, too big. The number one, which is uh, too small, it will fit. But again, there's a lot of empty spaces around the edges there. So again, it's not going to really do much of a job. Yes, you may be able to use it at a pinch, but uh, it's not the right size and it doesn't fit in there particularly well. There's quite a bit of space where it's not actually uh, gripping the screw head correctly. So uh, correct size again is essential. So that's the difference between Posi and Phillips screws. Generally it's going to be Posi in the UK, but uh, say Phillips do exist, but uh, do check carefully before using. And if you're going to be buying screwdrivers, do make sure you're buying the right kind. Don't just buy one of those horrendous sets with uh, all kinds of different ones in, because they inexplicably seem to always come with Phillips drivers in, even though those were actually the most useless kind you can buy. So that is it for this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.